Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to day 25 of our Ramadan Kids Challenge. I hope you're all well, inshallah. Now, before we begin today's session, I just wanted to talk to you about our last and final special uh, episode that we'll be having on, on the 28th of Ramadan. During this session, I hope to um, give the, award the prizes um, and also we would like it if you could send in some clips, um, some video clips about what you have learned during this Ramadan challenge. I would love to see them and share them with you all in our special episode. So I look forward to seeing your clips and receiving them. Thank you. Now today we're going to talk a little bit about bad habits as well as good deeds. So bad habits are things that you should do that are not always very good and at the beginning if you remember one of our first few days we all set a challenge of something that we were going to give up for Ramadan. So here I have some of those things that were uh, that you suggested you were going to give up. So Masuma challenged herself to not to bicker with her little brother and Ali said that he was not going to stop playing games on his mobile phone. Shireen said that she would change um, herself and try not to disturb her cousins. Um, Muhammad has said that he would try to leave his anger. And then we've got some more. Uh, Gainat said she'll give up eating unhealthy foods. And then somebody who else we have, Mehdi, he said he's going to try and let his younger brothers have turns with his toys and try not to argue. So I wonder how you all got on with those challenges. I hope you stuck to them and have uh, improved on those things that you said you were going to give up. Now, if you remember, I told you that I was going to give up Pepsi Max. So I haven't had any for the last... 25 days and one interesting thing is that I found that maybe I don't actually need the Pepsi Max and maybe even after Ramadan finishes I won't drink it and maybe you'll feel like that about all those habits that you tried to stop and you won't do them again or maybe you will do less of them because you're used to not doing them inshallah. Now Allah tells us in the Quran to do good so that's why we have to leave these bad habits so it says in Surah 28 Ayah 77 do good. He also tells us Allah loves those who do good. So he tells us to do good and he tells us he will love us even more if we do good. And Allah has actually told us that the reason why he created us was to see who was the best in deeds. Okay, So he wants to see who can do the best deeds, the most deeds. And an example of this is if you imagine we had some bubbles. Okay, um, And if I was to sort of blow some bubbles, unfortunately you're not all here with me, but when I blow bubbles, Oh, that was just one that came out. Let's see a bit more. When I blow the bubbles, usually you all chase and run to come and pop the bubbles. Now, this is how we should try and chase our good deeds. You should try and run after these good deeds and catch the opportunity as early as possible. So look for opportunities to do good deeds. Rush and do good deeds before your chances go away. So if you see an old lady who's carrying some heavy bags, before you walk past her and she's already gone, Go and help her. So rush to these good deeds. By doing good deeds, it brings us closer to Allah and makes him happy. Allah says in the Quran that he multiplies the reward and will give you even more than what he has given you when you try and do these good deeds. And another an example of uh, good deeds is giving charity. And that helps you keep away from illnesses, protects you from harm and increases your life. So all of these good deeds have a benefit for us. Now, the important thing is, though, that our niya, our intention, is correct. So remember, when you're doing a good deed, it's not so that your parents um, can be really uh, can tell you how good you are or that your friends are really impressed with you. You do a good deed because you want to please Allah and Allah alone, nobody else. So let me give you an example of this. Imagine you had a balloon, and this balloon is your good deeds. So you're doing lots and lots of good deeds. Let's say you helped uh, your little brother with his homework or you helped your mummy in the kitchen. You've been doing some really good deeds. So your good deeds balloon is blowing up. However, if your intention changes and you start to do it so that um, you can please the others, unfortunately, the value of your good deeds comes less. So let's say you did it so that you could show off to your friends. Your air, air would go from your bubble and your deeds and the, the reason for you doing your deeds and the reward will come, become less and less. So remember that and try and make sure your niyyah is clear, your intention is for Allah alone. Now, we're going to listen to Surah Quraysh by one of our viewers, Masuma. Let's have a look at the Surah and I'll tell you why we are listening to it after. 
أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إلا في قريب إلا في رحلة الشتاء أصبح فليبدو رب هذا البيت الذي أدعمهم من جوع وأمنهم من خوف Thank you, Masuma. That was lovely. And Aki Masuma is one of our youngest viewers. So she's done really well to learn that surah off by heart and recite it. So well done, Masuma. The Prophet has told us that he who recites this surah is rewarded ten good deeds as many as if there were uh, times as many as if he had gone for um, Umrah or for Hajj, had visited the Kaaba. So the reward for reciting this uh, the, the surah is uh, giving him lots of more good deeds as well. So learn the surah and recite it, inshallah. And this tells us that Allah multiplies, or reminds us that Allah multiplies our reward. So an example of this is every time you do a good deed. So imagine this tablet is your good deed. I put it into the water. Now look at how much it spreads out. So every time, even the littlest good deed you do, it can give you so much reward and help you in so many different ways. It expands. So remember that and do the littlest of good deeds all the time. Now we have a story. So in our story today, it's about an apple. So, and a classroom. Let's have a read of this story. Let's get our Slovakli book. And our story is the apple story. One day, Mrs. Layla gave each of her kindergarten students a shiny red apple. She told them that they each needed to go into a secret hiding place where nobody could see them and eat their apples over there. One student hid under the desk. The other student went behind the bookshelf. One girl hid behind the door. One boy even hid in the closet. But Alia wandered around the room, searching for a hiding place. Finally, she went back to her seat and she didn't eat the apple. After five minutes, the teacher called them back to the rug. She asked them where they hid and how the apple tasted. Zara said she hid under the desk and my apple was so sweet and yummy. Sister Layla noticed that Alia hadn't eaten her apple. She asked her, Alia, why didn't you eat your apple? She said, I tried to look for a good hiding place. I thought about hiding under the table or behind the door or even in the closet. But then I realised that no, more, no matter where I hid, Allah would be able to see me. And you had asked us to eat the apple when no one could see us. That's why I couldn't eat my apple. Mrs. Layla smiled and said, MashaAllah, that's correct. Allah is everywhere. So this story reminds us that, like I said earlier, we don't do deeds for everybody else. We only do our deeds for Allah. So when we, even when we do a bad deed or a good deed, Allah is watching all the time. And he always knows. And remember those angels that are watching us, they're writing them down all the time. So make sure you do the good deed. Okay. Now, your Islamic reminder today. So wherever, whoever does an atom's weight of good will see it. So Allah is telling us in the Quran, the smallest good deed you do will become a big thing. Allah will give you reward for it in a big way. Now your activity for today. It's something you can set up for today, but it can last for longer. I'd like you to set up a good deeds tree. So you can make one, or you could paint one, or you could draw one. And on this good deed tree, good deeds tree, I'd like you to add some leaves. And write on them the good deeds that you have been doing. Inshallah, I'm sure you've got lots of good deeds and you can always add to them as you do these good deeds. So I'd love to see your good deeds tree, inshallah. Now it's time for a challenge. Are you ready for challenge 25? Let's, great, let's have a look. So today's challenge is, I would like you to catch as many good deeds as you can today. So just like those bubbles we saw earlier today, I want you to catch as many of those good deeds. So before it's too late, do a good deed. And do let me know which good deeds you managed to do. Well done. And thank you for watching. Inshallah, we'll see you tomorrow. Assalamu. Mm -hmm.
Ramadan is the month of mercy. Ramadan is the month of fasting. Ramadan is the month of giving and helping those in need. Ramadan is the month of the Quran, the month in which it first came down to Prophet Muhammad in year 16, a guide for.